Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we are going to start with von command set in discord.py. So let's try get into it. So we'll be using PostgreSQL as the database and I have already made a video explaining great depths of PostgreSQL you can check that out link in the description so I won't be explaining this stuff all around I'll just guide you all with all the stuff you have to do but I'll still suggest you all to have a look at that video because it will help you a lot while making this command so like always you just need to install PostgreSQL and open PG admin once it's open then you just need to create a database i'm going to show how to create a database from default so you can just uh, you know create a database and give it any name so i'm gonna maybe name it youtube and you don't need anything actually because we are going to create the columns with coding so we are just gonna define the database for now and let's get coding so what we'll do is we'll just create one create pool function and make sure to down, pip install async pg so you just need to say pip install async pg and i've already installed async pg so you can see now what we'll do is we'll create one function you just need to import it make sure of that now we'll create one function async dev create db pool and it will obviously have a self parameter since it's in the bot class now we'll create one property of our bot which is our self so we'll just define name it db you can name it anything obviously i'll cover all of this in my postgres video so you can check that out so if you're hosting your postgresql locally then you just need to create a pool like this by asyncpg.create pool database youtube postgres and provide the password so this database name is from my pg admin which is here this is the database name and you can use maybe decouple python decouple so you just need to say pip install python decouple to install it so you can define the password you can store the password in a dot env file or you can just you know paste it directly which is not really good practice but you can do that but so i'm gonna just say config basically my decouple dot config and i'll pass my password so it will get the password from my environment variables which is which is stored in my .env file now in order to you know create the ssl require what you can do is you can you know comment this because you won't be needing this if you're hosting your database somewhere so then you just need to say cell.db again the our property and database url so you just have to pass the database to url here you can obviously store this in an environment variable and get this so we're not going to host it we're gonna run it locally for now so what I'll do is I'll just comment this and uncomment this. Yep. Now we just need to call this function in our init. So I'll say myself dot loop run until complete and I'll pass my self dot create db pool and it's a function no parameters. Okay, so our database is set up. Now what we need to do is we'll just head over to our onevent.py and we'll create our columns so even though we can create the tables through schemas and here the tables we can create the tables like this but we'll be creating the tables by code so now on ready i'll just say await cell dot bot dot db dot execute so we're just executing create table if not exist and we'll just uh, pass the name which will be uh, because we know the table won't be existing so the table could be something like one log you can just name it anything and it will have some parameters which will be the columns so the first column will be guild id so we'll save the first column as guild id which will be a big int second column will be my member id the person who is banned which will also be a big int big int now our third column will be wants so basically here we'll save all the wants it will be a list to be honest so here it is a text which it just signifies an array which contains text so wants will be text to be more precise next we'll store the time like like the time at which the person was born so it will be a decimal and again an array so why are we making them array because a certain person in a certain guild can have more than one bond so what will happen is like let's say i have bond a person two times and this one wants 
array will have two bonds and this time array will also have two bonds so it will be a respective system so you must have got it our on event file is done now let's head over to our moderation.py so we'll be creating couple full of functions to get the get the user data okay so firstly we'll define one async function which will be for getting the data of a user for a specific guild so it will return us basically the stats of a user for their wands so we'll just say async def wand log you can just name it name your function anything it will have a self parameter guild id and member id now we'll just define a variable data which will be await myself dot bot dot db dot and we'll get the data so it will be fetch row and we'll just pass select everything which is just signifies asterisk from my one logs where guild id is equal to dollar one and member id is equal to dollar two yeah and we'll pass the async pg functions which is just the formatting so i'll just pass my guild id then my member id so i have the data now obviously if a user is never born then this data will be none type object because such entry was never added so i'll say if not data return us an empty list else return us the original data yep so one function will be this we'll have one more function which will be for adding the data like uploading the data to the database so we'll just define async def one entry so you can just name it anything i'm just i just find this more suitable name for adding a bond so it will be one entry so this is just an async function it's not a command because we don't have the commands decorator so it will have obviously the guild id then it will have the member id then we'll also have the reason to you know want the specific person then we'll have the time okay so that's all now what we'll do is we'll simply call this function async function in our one entry to get the one log of that specific person so i'll just say my data is equal to my await self dot one log now i'll pass my guild id which is passed in here then my member id okay now i have the data now if this data is an empty list empty list sorry then it means that the data didn't exist now in that case our work is easy we just need to you know, upload the stuff to the database so i'll just say bot.db dot execute and we'll say insert into our one logs insert into one logs and then we'll provide the par parameters which will be updating so we'll update everything so firstly it will be our guild id member id it will be our wands it will be our times so basically let me check if it was times or not okay so we should name it times probably because it will contain a list of all the time variables so it can be named as times though it does not make sense but okay I just want to avoid the clashing of several variables so I've just named it times and I'll pass the values values will be obviously now we just need to pass the stuff first will be my guild ID which is my guild ID ID yep second will be my member ID now third third is my wants and it is a list so we just need to provide a list in here which will be my reason and the last will be my time it will also be a list so it will be time okay once this is done we'll just return because because our work is done and obviously it's it's double i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so it should be double equate because we are equating so yeah if the data is already existing then what we'll do is we'll just update the times and the wants area we won't be changing the guild and member id obviously so we'll just append to the wants and times so what i'll say is i'll say my wants is equal to my data and as you know it will return us a list by default whose first index which is zero index will be guild id first will be member id second will be wants so i'll just pass my second similarly my times will be my uh, data third and now we'll just append the stuff so i'll say wants dot append and i'll append the reason similarly in my times i'll append my time yep 
now we just need to update so i'll say await myself dot bot dot db dot execute and it will be update update my warn logs and set for me the time times is equal to dollar one we'll put a comma make sure of that it really got me and uh, wants is equal to dollar two where build id is equal to dollar three and member id is equal to dollar four and now we'll just pass this up firstly we'll pass the time so it will be times then it will be wants then it will be your guild id then it will be your member id id yep okay so it looks fine to me yeah we'll look for errors okay now we just need to start with a function so it's gonna be quick i'll say commands dot command we'll provide an aliases this time i guess aliases would be something like w it's just my preference you can do other stuff as well so i'll just save on myself dot ctx then we'll have we'll have the member object so i'll say member discord dot member and we'll have the reason so reason will be multi-liner so i'll say reason and it will be no reason provided by default now what we need to do is firstly we need to check if the member is not the cdx dot author or the bot itself so what we'll say is we'll say if my member is equal to my ctx dot author or my member is equal to my cell okay equal to cell dot bot dot user means it's the bot itself then we'll just say a return await ctx dot send you can't mute the you can mute yourself or the bot so you can you know put anything i just found this i just find this relevant maybe you can do anything now what we need to say is we need to update the data so we'll just update the data of the user through this one entry so i'll say await cell dot one entry and it has certain parameters we'll have the guild id then we'll have the member id member id will be my member dot id then we'll have the reason okay so it's not the guild id it's ctx dot guild dot id i just did that in flow okay so it's reason then we'll have the time so time will be our ctx dot message dot created at dot timestamp and it's a function okay so we have updated the data now we just need to send the message so i'll say await my ctx dot send uh, and i'll just send the message regarding that this this person is won so i'll just say you can also set this into a log channel and send that in that but i'll probably send this in the ctx itself so what i'll say is i'll say i'll firstly make it an f string and i'll say my ctx dot auth ctx dot author dot name has won my member dot name and uh, i'll just leave a line and maybe give the reason so reason will be my reason yep so i guess it, it looks pretty much good now we'll send an embed to the to the user notifying about that you have been you've been warned so i'll say embed is equal to discard dot embed it will have a title title will be uh it will be worn by i guess it will be an f string first of all so it will be worn by and i'll provide the ctx dot author in here ctx dot author dot name description we'll just set the color so i'll say set my color will be discord dot color dot red dot red yep and we'll add field so i'll say my embed dot add field it will have a name so name will be my reason and its value will be my reason second parameter will be my my warning so my warning will just demonstrate like you have this this many warns and it can lead to this so and so consequences so you can just have the warning for that so firstly we'll get the data so i'll say my data of the user is my await self dot warn log so i'll just get the data it will have the guild id okay not the guild id it's my ctx dot guild dot id and i'll have the member dot id okay so we have the warn log we have the data of the user so we can simply just get the count so count of warns will be something like my data and third index and i'll get the length of this so i'll say length okay length so we have the count so we can say 
total wants okay name is equal to my total wants its value will be my nf string and it will say you know count it will be bold like to emphasize wants now you can maybe set a timestamp to this so i can just say uh, i can provide the timestamp here on these so i can say timestamp is equal to date time date time dot utc now so you just need to import it as well make sure of that and once you have done this then you can maybe set a footer as well i'll set the thumbnail as well which will be the you know i'll just set set thumbnail and it will be the profile of the person who want the member so i'll say my ctx dot author dot avatar url okay so i guess our embed is ready pretty much so you can maybe give a warning as well like in the i can just leave next sentence and i can say so we can just say that um you know more than five wants in a month can have severe consequences so we will be resetting the total wants after every month we cannot wrap up all of that all of the want command set in this one video we'll have several videos for that so maybe like the video if you liked it like all of this video would be somewhat i guess 10 likes so yeah i'd be glad if you do that now i guess our embed is ready so i can just send this to my author so i'll just create one try accept statement and i'll say await my member dot send embed is equal to embed and in the accept statement i'll just pass means the person has blocked the dms or bot doesn't have the required permission to do so so yeah we'll just pass now let's try running it and i hope there are no errors okay so the bot is running without any errors hopefully now what i'll do is i'll call the command and i hope that there are no errors i'll just uh, you know won't drift as a move for nothing right now okay so drift as moves won't and there are no errors so this is i guess working pretty much nice but there is a problem like anyone can warn anyone so we can provide a requirement as well so i'll say commands dot and if we scroll down you can see there we can provide certain permissions for the user like bot has any role bot has a role we can provide a specific role we can provide a specific condition like we provided here like has permissions administrators true so we'll have has permission only you can do any of the stuff but since my bot is public i'll go with has permissions and i'll say kick members is equal to true so that will be the condition required and uh, now i'll 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 want drift as move again with the reason so i'll say um because why not okay so drift as move was again warned and there was no error so i'll have a look at our table so i'll reload the page and as you can see we have a table created and we can view the data and as you can see we have got the data and this is the guild id this is the member id which is obviously of drift asimo and we actually have two wants as you can see first one is no reason provided second is because why not and in the time as you can see the time is s is a iteratable thing and it have two time variables like if i scroll it as you can see it is a float this is basically a timestamp and we can convert it into a daytime dot a time object and we'll be using this to delete the bones after every one month so that's how we'll be working and for now the command is working awesome like we have started with creating our own bone commands okay so that's all for this video guys subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified with the other latest updates of these commands and we'll be making more of these one commands like delete wands, clearing clearing the wands after a specified time, showing all the wands of a specific person in a specific guild, and many other functions. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you didn't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.